Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I'm going to be bringing you a very special showdown between two really popular accessory belts for Ostomates. Now, this video has been requested many, many, many times, so I really appreciate your patience. Stay tuned, we have the Stealth Belt versus the Comfort Belt. Let's get started. Okay, so if the words Stealth Belt and Comfort Belt confuse you, uh, don't worry, you're not alone. What these are are accessory belts that an Ostomate would use to help support their appliance. One specific feature about both of these belts is the fact that it holds your appliance sideways which is the way that I like to wear uh, my particular appliance. And uh, there are quite a few advantages and disadvantages to doing that. I have a separate video on that, so if you want to get into the nitty gritty, you can take a look there. But I'm going to be comparing two very popular belts. I've reviewed both of these. Uh, now there's a third edition to this video, and I'll have another video review for that one. The third edition is kind of the I would say the equivalent to the comfort belt in the stealth belt line, but the one that everyone's been asking about specifically is the stealth belt pro. So I've got that as well. So let's go right into this and um, see which one comes out on top. Okay. Now to start, you're going to notice all three belts are exactly the same as far as how they look with a few very subtle differences. Now the one on the top is the comfort belt. The one in the middle is the custom size Stealth Belt Pro. And the one on the bottom is one that not too many people know about, but it's uh, a belt by Stealth Belt called the Quick Start Belt. And that one is sort of for people who really aren't, like they don't know whether or not they're gonna go with the Stealth Belt Pro or how you know the product will actually work for them. So it's a nice uh, way to get kind of introduced to the whole world of wearing your bag sideways and wearing a product like this. And it's got a couple of uh, pretty interesting features to it. So I'm gonna give a rundown based on different categories. These categories are ones that I would imagine people are gonna find important. I certainly do. And hopefully it'll give you a good rounded overview as far as what these products have to offer. So let's start with sizing. Now the Comfort Belt and the Quick Start Belt, both are one size fits all style belts. And what that means is it doesn't matter what size your flange is, it doesn't matter whether or not you're wearing a one piece or a two piece, it'll essentially accommodate that uh, regardless. Now the reason for that is because they have very large openings in the back and that opening is where you would actually put your ostomy bag through. You'll notice here on the Stealth Belt Pro, the opening is much smaller, which means it has to be sized exactly to fit your flange. If you're wearing a flange that's a bit larger, so as an example, I like to wear two-piece systems, but on occasion I'll wear one-piece systems, and the one-pieces tend to have a larger flange base than the two-piece. And in that case, I actually wouldn't be able to wear the Stealth Belt Pro because it's sized for my specific two-piece. So those are the similarities between the Quick Start and the Comfort Belt. All of these belts um, are ordered based on your waist size. Now one advantage to the Stealth Belt products, which isn't something that's available on the Comfort Belt, is the fact that you can order an accessory based on whether or not you have your stoma to the left or the right. So if you have a colostomy and your stoma is on the left side, you're going to be wanting a belt that fits that rather than having to jumble around another size or another style. Now the comfort belt is designed to work both on the left or the right side. So whether or not you have a colostomy or ileostomy isn't going to make a difference. And the way they do that is to basically center that opening a little more. I'll show you here with a bag. So when you're putting this bag through the hole, it's basically going to sit either on one side or the other, depending on where your stoma is. And you'll notice here that when it's on this side, it's actually crammed up a bit in there. Now that may not be desirable, although that should be good enough for most people. I would have preferred to have the option of going with either a left or right sided belt just like what Stealth Belt offers. Now, these ones here are designed for my ileostomy, which is on the right side, so they'll accommodate my bag perfectly. And you'll notice here, there's no extra material, uh, but it fits the bag perfectly. 
and it doesn't matter whether or not it's the Quick Start or the Stealth Belt Pro. Now, had I ordered one for a colostomy, that configuration would be flipped around and it would fit better for that side of stoma. Now, when you order one of these belts, the common question is gonna be, what's your waist size? All of these accommodate you know, very small waists and very large waists, and you would enter that in uh, at the time you order. Now, all of these belts have adjustable Velcro. You'll notice here on the back. So what happens is when you wrap it around your waist, you're going to actually be able to adjust the tension, which is actually a really nice feature, especially if, for example, you're coming out of surgery, maybe you're a little underweight, uh, you can adjust that belt so that it will accommodate you as you gain weight or as you lose weight. Now, because the Stealth Belt Pro is a custom size product, I would really suggest waiting, if that's the one you want to go with, until your stoma has settled and you've picked an appliance that works for you and you know that you're going to be settling on that appliance long term. One of the worst things you can do is order one like right after surgery and then have things change on you. Maybe you've had to switch appliance, maybe you've gone to a one piece or switch down to a two piece, which is a smaller flange size. And that'll essentially uh, make it so that you probably won't be able to wear the belt unless you order a different size. So keep that in mind. Now the next category that I'm gonna talk about are the different styles available for each of these bands. Now the Comfort Belt and the Quick Start Belt both are come in black. Actually, the Stealth Belt Pro also comes in black and those are pretty standard styles. There's no other option to customize either of those. Now, one of the nice things about the Stealth Belt Pro is if you did wanna go with a different pattern, so let's say you wanted lime green instead of the black style, you could order that. Now, obviously customization comes at a cost, but uh, you're able to do that. Uh, one of the other really nice things about Stealth Belt is they do offer you a completely customized belt, which is at a premium. And that means if you want two zippers, they'll add two zippers. If you want something totally changed on the belt, they'll be able to accommodate you, uh, you know, within reason. Now, Stealth Belt also offers a really nice option to go with a double stoma configuration, which is very unique to all the other products. And... Um, uh, that's something that fewer ostomates would need, but I know there's a group of people who would, who would definitely appreciate that option being there. Now, the next category that I chose to compare these belts is comfort. Comfort is a huge one because if you're like me and you like to wear these belts like all day, multiple days in a row, it's got to be comfortable. The last thing you want is to wear something that starts to itch or pinch or uh, is uncomfortable in some other way. Now I'm happy to say that all three belts are extremely comfortable. I've worn, um, I mean, I've worn the comfort belt for months and months at a time, no issues at all. I've worn the stealth belt months and months at a time, no issues at all, uh, and that includes both styles. Now I've also owned another uh, stealth belt pretty much around the same time that I got my surgery, I started wearing it. So I've been wearing that one for well over three years. Um, but it's a bit tight on me because I did gain weight, but uh, nonetheless, it is still very comfortable. Now, the two stealth belts are made of the same materials, and the comfort belt is made out of a totally different material. All three belts have a nice stretch to them, so whether you're moving around, whether your bag is filling up and you need more of that space, uh, it accommodates all of that, so there's no issues there. As far as sweating or feeling hot or anything like that, I would have to say that um, for the most part, these belts feel very cool. Uh, the material that they're made of is a type of material that, uh, you know, you can go out, you can wear this during exercising and uh, you're gonna feel pretty comfortable. Now I will say that uh, compared to the older style stealth belt that I have, the newer ones, including the comfort belt, have a single layer of fabric on the front side. So that does cut down on the insulation factor that my older stealth belt has, and that's a really nice thing to see. But as far as wearing it goes, like I've really had no trouble at all. I personally find the Stealth Belt Pro to be the most comfortable, and that's because it has a double locking closure. And what that means is when you close the Velcro here, 
you have an option of coming over one more time. This offers a little more security, I would say. It does make it feel more comfortable, but um, regardless, they all work the same way. Now, I don't have a preference as far as the material choices. They all feel very comfortable. They're all nice and soft. I would probably say the comfort belt is slightly uh, softer, but um, you know that you would really have to be holding them side by side and really examining them carefully to really notice any big differences there. So one concern that a few members on the community forums that I run had was whether or not any of these belts would be able to accommodate um, like a heavier body. I don't have experience with that, unfortunately. Um, I'm not a woman, so I don't have like curvy hips or anything like that, which is another issue that uh, people have brought up. So I don't know which belt would be best as far as accommodating uh, various hip sizes. But the common complaint is that some of the belts will end up sliding and maybe riding up or you know not staying put. That's unfortunately something that'll happen with a lot of accessories that go around your waist. And um, you might have to experiment a bit to see what's going to work for you. Now, I will say that the band on the comfort belt is uh, shorter than the other two. So you'll notice that here. Whether or not that's going to help you uh, in that situation, I'm not 100% sure. I do like the fact that these are wider. Personally, for me, it feels more comfortable and I almost get a sense like it's staying put uh, more than this one. But having said that, I really don't really have trouble with this either. So, Now, the next category is security. If you're choosing one of these belts and you happen to be doing any kind of sporting activity or any activity re that requires you to move around a lot, security is going to be a big thing. Now I know that when the Awesome Appliance fills, that's kind of when you're testing the limits of these accessories. And I'm happy to say that for the most part they all perform extremely well. Even when my bag is filling up and I'm still doing uh, physical activities, they all support my appliance the way I expect. Now because of that support, I find that wearing either of these minimizes the risk of leaks, especially if the leaks are caused by the bag tugging because it's heavy. Although I will say that the Stealth Belt Pro, because of the custom fit, does feel like it's supporting me a little bit better. It's more snug around the base of my appliance, so around that flange area, and it, it puts a little more pressure in that area. So for me personally, I find that the Stealth Belt Pro definitely feels better as far as the support goes. Not to mention the fact that it, again, has that double closure, which is actually a pretty important feature to have if you're doing a lot of sporting activities or you're in a situation where you're getting rubbed on the side a lot. So let me explain. I think the best example that I can give here is with the um, quick start belt because it has the smallest amount of Velcro. Now if you're wearing it and uh, let's say you're just, I don't know, playing with the kids or something and you happen to just brush against something, what'll happen is uh, this may actually come off which means your belt's going to be dangling. Now it's not so much of a problem with the comfort belt because it does have a larger area of Velcro there. But it is absolutely no problem on the Stealth Belt Pro because as you can see here, once that first Velcro is fastened, you have a second one which actually runs in the opposite direction that keeps everything in place. So even if you were to get brushed on this side here, the chances of you being so you know, brushed again going the opposite direction is extremely unlikely. So that one is going to stay put. Now day-to-day -day use, putting these belts on, taking them off, emptying your bag, they're basically all the same. They work exactly the same. So the way you put these on is going to be identical. The only exception is with the Stealth Belt Pro, you have that like one extra Velcro to attach, but everything else is equal. They all have zippers along the bottom. Now the styling of the zippers is slightly different. It's much longer here on the Quick Start Belt. It's also long here on the Stealth Belt Pro, and it's pretty short on the Comfort Belt. But I'll be honest, when I'm using the comfort belt, I don't find that that makes any difference. It still feels like I can take my bag out and empty it or rotate it and point it down. So that doesn't really uh, make any difference as far as that's concerned. So durability is our next category. I'm happy to say that because I've worn these belts 24-7 through all kinds of situations and all sorts of weather, 
and uh, you know various activity extremes, I am happy to report that they all they're very durable. They they don't wear down. They don't um, fall apart in any way. Now I will say that there is a slight difference in the way the fabric looks uh, over the long period of time. Now. With the comfort belt, I've worn this out of the three belts the longest. However, when I go back to look at my older stealth belt, uh, which is like over three years old, it still looks like very pristine condition. I'm extremely surprised at it actually. And one issue that I've noticed with the comfort belt is that the Velcro hooks are kind of patchy and it's kind of falling apart. I'll see if you can see that there. So it's kind of missing a lot of these teeth. And that's a problem because it, it, it makes it so that this doesn't grab as well. It's not, you know, it doesn't have like a nice grip like it used to, which is really unfortunate. The other stealth belts, including my older one, have no such issue. Uh, you'll notice here the teeth are in perfect order. Uh, you can actually hear with the Velcro. Like it's very, very strong. And, um, you know, unfortunately, even when I'm looking at the um, fabric part that, it act that the Velcro actually connects to, I notice little bits of the teeth, the hooks coming off. So it's not something that I'm doing wrong. It's just, I guess, the difference in the Velcro quality. So that's something to keep in mind. As far as the fabrics are concerned, I would have to say that the materials on the stealth belt seem to age better. I don't notice any like wear and tear or anything like that. On the comfort belt, I notice little bits of lint. And I'll try to show you that here. I notice these like little linty bits that are kind of collecting on the front. Uh, it's mainly on the back, so it's you know more where my clothes are rubbing up against it. Not so much on the front, although I do still see you know little parts that I can kind of pick off. So I'm not sure if that's just the difference in the material or not. It's honestly not a huge deal. You're going to be wearing these belts under your clothing most of the time anyway. But I thought I'd mention that. As far as any strings or like thread or anything like that coming apart, for the most part, no issues at all on any of these belts. However, I will say that the comfort belt seems to have more issues when it comes to certain parts of the zipper. And I'll try to get that on camera. So as you can see here, the zipper parts kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of like a mess to me personally. And uh, you'll notice that there's a bit of thread hanging off here. Now that's not a big deal. Once you have this closed, okay, once you have it closed, you're not really going to notice that so much, although it's still there a little bit. But when I compare it to something like any of the stealth belts, you'll notice the construction is quite a bit different. You see that? So that to me is a better quality uh, and it'll, I would imagine, last longer because of that. Now let's talk extra features. The Comfort Belt claims to have an antibacterial property to it. Now I'm not 100% sure if that's a, like a chemical additive or if it just happens to be uh, the way the material is. And I'm not too sure how long uh, that will last for, if it washes away or you know if it rubs off or anything like that. I also can't prove it, okay, but um, the assumption is it has an antibacterial property to it that should cut down on maybe funky odors or anything like that from happening. Neither of the stealth belts claim that, and as far as extra features go, uh, I'd have to say that the quick start belt really doesn't have anything extra, and it's not really meant to because it is a quick start belt. The Stealth Belt Pro, while there's no specific feature to speak of does have that double locking uh, mechanism there and the fact that you can order a fully customized belt probably would be the extra feature uh, that I would give to the Stealth Belt Pro. Now as far as prices are concerned availability and shipping this might be up in the air depending on when uh, you're watching this video because obviously pricing sometimes changes but at the time of this video both belts, uh, and I would say kind of right across the board, are in the $100 to $125 range. There is extra shipping costs involved with the Stealth belts, unfortunately, whereas the Comfort Belt offers free international shipping, 
and these are pretty much ready to go. Uh, they're not custom made, so they can ship basically the next day. Uh, the Stealth Belt uh, Quick Start Belt, I would imagine, will, would ship pretty quick. But the Stealth Belt Pro is definitely one that you'll most likely be waiting for. Not only do they have to make the belt custom size, it also usually takes a bit of time for that to be finalized and shipped out. So in most cases, expect to wait two weeks to four weeks for Stealth Belt Pro and um, really less than two weeks for any of the other ones. Now keep in mind also that the uh, Comfort Belt ships from Europe and the Stealth Belts would ship from the United States. So depending on where you live, shipping times will vary. So we've reached our conclusion. I'll be honest with you, it's hard to decide because each of these offer their own unique benefits. They all work pretty much the same way and they all do a fantastic job. So I don't think you can actually go wrong with any of these. Now I will say that my personal preference is the Stealth Belt Pro. And for the fact that it is custom fit to my appliance, it does have that double lock enclosure, which to me does make a difference. And the fact that the material holds out long term and is quite durable in that way, I think I would personally go with the Stealth Belt Pro if you don't mind waiting and if cost isn't a concern for you. Now, having said that, you can customize it to your liking at an added cost. So that might be something that uh, you'd be interested in. And keep in mind that this is only one of many belts that Stealth Belt offers. If you're not sure of uh, the appliance that you're using or whether or not you might be switching that around in the near future, then I would go with either the Quick Start Belt or the Comfort Belt. I'm leaning more towards the Comfort Belt personally because it has a better Velcro fastener uh, with the exception of maybe that durability part. And again, this may be just a one-off case for me, but the Velcro does seem to be um, degrading faster than the other belts. But they both work the same way. They both have large holes that'll accommodate essentially any size appliance. So if you are the type of person to switch, either of those will work fine for you. You can get uh, the comfort belt to work with both a left and a right sided stoma. However, if you do have that preference to go with your colostomy and um, you want it to fit the best, I would probably have to say that the quick start belt is gonna be a better match for you if you can get over the fact that it has that smaller patch of Velcro on it. So tell me guys, if you own any of these belts, what has your experience been like and why have you chosen it? If you've tried more than one of these belts, I'm curious to know how you compare these and whether or not my comparison makes any sense. Now keep in mind that this comparison is highly subjective and it's primarily based on my opinion. Your experience is going to vary uh, depending on you know, your body size, depending on your stoma type, depending on the size of belt that you have uh, and other factors like that. So, you know, don't take my word for it. This is just kind of sharing what I've learned by using these for uh, quite a long time. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care. Left and right side wear, but I don't find that it fits as well as the comfort belt or I'm happy to say that because I have experience wearing these belts like 24 hours a day for months on end, uh, obviously I do clean them in between, but um, I'm happy to say that they... Now let's talk about extra features with these. Now let's talk extra features. The comfort belt... Now keep in mind, this is mostly going to be subjective. These are my preferences, my opinions on these products. Your experience may be totally different, and that's okay. But I'm... Now keep in mind that my opinions of these are entirely subjective. There aren't many objective um, measures that I can take between all... So I hope you like the video, guys. Let me know what you 